Tonight is um, August the 1st, 2013. I'm going to document for you tonight a very nice performing old Macintosh MC75. It's got a little bit of rust and not the most beautiful one I've ever seen, but it uh, actually performs very well. It was brought to me today. It's got a bottom and everything. I'll put that on there too and show you. The only thing I've done to it is clean it up really good, check it out, measure the uh, ESR on all of the big capacitors underneath it, and I get very low values for them. Here they are, let's see, right here, 0 0 0.1307, 0 0.25.11, 0 0.25.11, so I consider all that good. I don't replace capacitors unless, uh, unless they're bad. Let me turn it over here, we'll look underneath. All this seems to be in good shape. That looks like a new capacitor right there, that blue, and I guess that one was changed once upon a time, a long time ago. Yeah, all these big uh, canned caps here are still good. I'm not going to replace them. Still got the uh, selenium rectifier on the back side of this board. I had that off to clean it. I had to take that off to get to the capacitors to measure them. But everything looks very, very stock. There's the thermistor right there. Right there to control inrush current. That's the bottom of it. Okay, here it is. Uh, got its bottom back on. It actually even has the, the original little cover with it. I can figure out how to put it on there. Looks like it's come loose right there at the corner. A little bit. Okay. Let's test it here. I've got it, uh, got it connected all up. Driving it with the uh, SG505. We'll run it up to, let's see what, at uh, 20 kilohertz right now. Well, let's go back down to uh, 2 kilohertz. You can sure hear that, huh? Let's run it up to 75 watts. Right there, this is power output. There we go, 75. 0.1% THD, yeah, that's 24 and a half volts, would be uh, 75 watts, so that's working properly. That's at 2 kilohertz. Nice and clean. Measure it at uh, 20 kilohertz. There we go. There's its 20 kilohertz, thereabouts. There's 20 kilohertz, there's its uh, second harmonic. 72 watts at 0.4% distortion. And let's go to 20 hertz. Let's go to the other end here. It always takes this oscillator just a second to kind of catch up. There we go. There we go at 20. There's its frequency, 20. 0.3% at uh, 70. Four watts. Look, like it's working pretty darn good. That's without changing the level, and, and the level of the oscillator is uh, quite good. So it'll do 20 to 20 kilohertz at 0.3 or 0.4 percent THD. Actually, uh, performs very well. Now I'll measure its um, signal to noise ratio. Set that up. Okay, we got this guy going now. It's uh, measuring signal to noise. What it does is uh, puts a tone on and measures the amplitude of the tone and it turns the tone off and measures the amplitude of, uh, of no signal level and compares the two and comes up right here. It's a one kilohertz tone as you can see on the left hand side and this 71.71 that's its signal to noise ratio. 71 plus 71 or so dB. You can actually hear it pulsing it, and uh, there it is again, at, uh, at a kilohertz. So it looks like it's doing a good job for a 50 plus year old lamp. We'll run one last test on it. We'll scan it 20 to 20 kilohertz at, uh, at the 75 watt level. Okay, now we're going to use the um, HP8903 to scan it from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz at 10 points per decade. I just set the, uh, the level here. 
to uh, 23.9 volts. That's as close as I can get to 75 watts without going over. This is a 1 kilohertz tone is the reference. And then we say OK, and it starts scanning. It starts off very low frequency. Well, it starts off at 20. There it is, 20. It's already up to 25 hertz. So it's, uh, it's scanning it now. You can see the frequency shift and change as it goes up. Let's see it over here too. And what we see over here is THD. Looks like it started out at about 1.2 at 20 hertz. 30 hertz it dropped to uh, less about 0.3. Looking pretty flat down there. Let's see, it says right here, frequency is 502 hertz right here. THC is 0.06 at that point. So we'll let it run here. You can sure can hear it. The transformer, the tubes, one of them you can hear pretty good. THD it tells you the frequency right here. Here's the frequency 10 kilohertz, 0.13. And it looks like it's going to end up doing uh, pretty good. There it is. Okay, it, at 20 hertz, it was up here at 1.2, dropped down to about 0.3 at 30 hertz, way down here in the 0.1 range. And at 20 kilohertz, it looks like it's about 0.3, it's a little point well, here it is, 0.35 at 20. So there it is. There's the old Macintosh uh, MC75. Still working after all these years. Could stand a real lot of TLC as far as uh, dressing it up. Goodness gracious, but it's, uh, it's still working. Pretty amazing. Love these old things. Hope you enjoy these old videos.